So in this video, I have some new petite friendly fashion finds I wanted to share with you guys today. Sizing reference, I'm five foot one, and I love finding some good petite fashion finds today. I have a lot of minimal, classic, basic pieces. Some pieces are slightly elevated as well. And most importantly, they are all petite friendly in my books. As always, I have all my sizing information listed in the description box, and I also will link all the items I'm sharing in this video in the description box as well, along with what size I'm wearing. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hop right in. First, I want to share what I'm wearing. I'm going to share all the Abercrombie pieces first. I really wanted to have a casual kind of summery outfit for when I go on walks with my kids. I go on walks every day. I wanted something really cute and comfortable. So first I'll just start off with this cami. I love it so much. The straps are very stretchy and they're very well made and they're also adjustable. And I love how the cami, uh, you don't see any bra on the sides. It actually comes up quite high, which I appreciate. Like the neckline is perfect. Like how high it is, it's not too low. doesn't show too much cleavage, which I love. And it covers the bra on the side, looks flattering in the back and the straps are really dainty and stretchy. So this is a really good find that was actually pretty inexpensive from Abercrombie, especially since I got it on sale. It was a really good find. Comes in many colors. And then I'm wearing this full zip like athletic jacket. And I love having something like this for, again, something really casual. It's also transitional. Um, it works great for me, at least in the morning time when it's a little bit cooler in the summer. I'm going on an early morning walk when I just need a, something on me. Quality is amazing. And I just love like this style of it. It's almost uh, like a little oversized, kind of slouchy in a way, uh, but the length isn't too long. It's perfect for petite, hits right at my hips. And then you can also cinch it at the hemline if you want to have it a little bit tighter there. And you can also just zip it up all the way, kind of crop it and have that really cute, almost like 90s look with a sweatshirt, which I really like. The pockets have zippers as well which i really appreciate in athletic pieces like this like zipper pockets because i want to put my phone and keys in there and be able to just zip it uh so that way nothing falls out so i really appreciate the zipper detail next thing are these shorts that i'm wearing love these so much they're kind of loungy but also kind of sporty looking at the same time with all the seams on them and i love the hemline of the shorts how they're kind of curved uh i think it looks really flattering in the hips and thighs and behind <laughs> Uh, this also comes in many colors. It's very soft, very loungy, and also great for summertime if you're going for walks and such. I think it's a really cute athletic shorts. And then the next thing is this super cute tank, which is what I was wearing with the shorts and with the jacket. Um, I love the button detail and also just the straps and the neckline is so flattering. Also comes up really high on the side where you don't see your bra sticking out, which is amazing. This also comes in another color, so white and then a really pretty taupe color. This is actually really inexpensive, which I obviously love, uh, and the quality is great as well. Okay, no matter what time of the year it is, I love picking up sweatshirts. I'm a huge sweatshirts fan, I just, I live in them. So I got this one from Abercrombie. This has a really nice 90s look to it. So I have these sweatshirts in black, white, and gray. So I wanted to pick up a color and this looks and feels very similar to the Lululemon perfectly oversized cropped crew that I share a lot here on this channel, or I've shared a few times. I love the French Terry version that Lulu has, and this looks exactly like it, but it is much softer than the Lulu version. So, and it's also way less expensive if you compare it to the Lulu sweatshirt. It has the exact same look, and I just love this 90s look in sweatshirts. I kind of feel like a cool 90s mom, if that makes sense. Next thing from Abercrombie is something that is a little bit more elevated. So it's this beautiful open knit tank. And I love this one because it has an open neckline, a V neckline, and the stitching around the straps and the bust line is so beautiful. And I love the length of it. It is perfect for petites. You can just do a cute little front tuck and it's not too long or you can leave it out. It's also not long if you just leave the whole top out. And it's very soft, very stretchy. And I'm wearing this in a size extra small. I would say it's true to size. And this next top, I wasn't sure how it would look like on me. I didn't think it would look good on me. It's this wrap 
top i decided to try it out and i actually love how it looks it's so flattering i love the wrap detail it's a beautiful soft ribbing material and love the length too it's great with any high-waisted bottoms i've been wearing it with my trouser shorts or even with denim shorts denim jeans trousers it's a really good just very simple but yet slightly elevated basic okay so those are all the pieces from abercrombie loved all of them again it's all linked below and then next up is i got a couple pieces from nudes so i got their um everyday t-shirt this is like their most classic best-selling piece on their site i believe uh, i love the fit of this like i just really really like it i'm actually gonna do a video just reviewing all of my basic tees and tanks pretty soon here um so i'll be comparing many different brands and different styles for you guys but this is the newest one i picked up that i've been wearing over and over again seeing how it is and the quality so far it's absolutely fantastic i love this like vintage feel and vintage look to it and the stitching on the side is actually angled uh so that way when you front tuck it or just when you lay it on your body it has like it really drapes beautifully and looks very flattering in your hips. So I love that attention to detail. Next thing I got from nudes are also these tanks here. This one, I would recommend wearing a strapless bra with it, but if you have a halter style bra, um, I'll link my favorite one down below. It works with this tank. So I got it in white and in black. Love them both. I think they're so flattering and very minimal and simple. Great to wear with like denim shorts. I think it's such a cute outfit that way or with a uh, denim jeans so i love basics like this and this is the thickest tank that i've ever purchased like it is truly shocking how thick this is i can put this on my black long sleeve sweater and you can't see the color through it at all which is incredible and i have a ton of lighting on me right here too you can't see black through it at all all next up a couple amazon finds uh, i found these leggings that are in exact dupe for the lulu align leggings but better i feel like the quality of it feels better and it's also a little bit thicker comparing it to the lines which i personally love and they're very soft very stretchy very buttery i did a lulu versus amazon video not too long ago which i'll link up here if you guys want to check it out uh it's a really good video but i determined that these are way better to purchase than the line leggings. They are $32 versus $98, sometimes $118, depending what color you get. Um, and the materials and everything is literally exactly the same. And the feeling of it is exactly the same, stitching and everything. So I love these. They're petite friendly. They come in 25 or 28 inch inseam. I have them in the 25 inch inseam and they are absolutely perfect. Then I also got a good dupe for the Lulu jogger pants. I have been recommending to you guys for a little bit i wanted to find a similar less expensive version and i love these from amazon they have a similar look to them which i did share these in the lulu versus amazon video not too long ago I love both the lululemon version and the amazon version they have a similar look again but the waistband is a little bit different these have a slightly looser fit so they have the same type of look but if you look at all the little detailing they are a bit different from each other but they both look beautiful i love these from amazon because they're very inexpensive the material material feels really nice very high quality doesn't pill doesn't lint and i just love the way it sits and lays on my body i think it looks so beautiful and it comes in many colors as well then i already spoiled these in a previous video where i was sharing splurge where they purchases but i got a new pair of vesha sneakers and i got the v10s i love these so much i wanted something more sporty from vesha i have the campo style which is a more classic sneaker and i love it i wanted something again and more sporty i love how these look i love how it looks around the ankle too and they're very comfortable i would say you definitely have to go down a full size i went with the size five in these sneakers and they fit like a size six which for me size six is my absolute true size so i would say whatever your size is but one size down from that i would say that the tongue from the shoe isn't the most comfortable but you can actually just tuck it in a little bit more where it's not rubbing on your ankles so it's an issue but it's not like an issue that you can't fix if that makes sense so i love these so much that you could just like tuck it in and you're fine also these sneakers come in faux leather and real leather version i personally own the faux leather which is what will be linked below but it also comes in a real leather version which i can also link below if you prefer that next up is a pair of girlfriend jeans you guys know it's my favorite denim brand along with a goldie but 
These are a little bit more casual, have a little bit more distressing, and these fit more like a mid-rise. So if you're petite with a shorter torso, I think you'll really like how these fit. Um, a lot of my other jeans are uh, pretty high rise because that's just what works for me, but I do love a mid-rise as well. Um, and that's what these kind of feel like on me. I have a longer torso for petite, just for reference. I love how they are totally petite friendly. Actually, these are the petite. I got them in a size 24 petite. These also come in regular, but the petite size is perfect. The inseam is 25 inches, so there's no need to do any hemming or anything, which is amazing. They look so flattering in the butt, um, and the rips on the knees are in the exact spots they need to be as a petite, which is fantastic. And I love how they're just a more casual jean that I can wear with like a tank and slides or with sneakers. They look really cute, so I love the color of these two. And then last but not least, this top is so adorable. It's really different from what I would pick, but um, I love like the little ruffling details on the sleeves and then on the hemline of the top. And I love this color. I think it's so pretty, so fun to transition from season to season. The material is so soft and so stretchy. So I wanted to share this new find. It's expensive, but it is really nice. So if this is your style, I think you'll really like it. It's so cute. All right, you guys. So I think I covered everything in this video. As always, I'll have everything linked down below. I hope you enjoyed these new petite friendly finds. Again, I wrote down what size I was wearing in each piece. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.